This is Bumper to Bumper TV. If there's a constant about the Chicago Auto Show, it would be a guarantee that the weather will be cold. That held true for 2019. But inside McCormick Place, the auto industry heated things up with lots of fancy displays, technologies, and of course, vehicles. Subaru used the venue to present the next version of the Legacy Sedan. This features a reworked boxer engine, upgraded suspension, and technology applications. The Chicago show is also connecting with historic moments in the industry. Mazda introduced the Miata there in 1989, so why not present the 30th anniversary edition of the sports car, now referred to as the MX-5. The Volkswagen brand debuted the GLI version of the Jetta Compact. The company thinks it will resonate with buyers who like a performance edge. The engine is mated to either a six-speed manual transmission or an available seven-speed DSG dual-clutch automatic. Yes, Volkswagen is one of the few automakers to still offer both a manual and a paddle shifter gearbox in the compact performance segment. I said, We're and of course, it wouldn't be Chicago without some bragging taking place. This year, Ford doubled down on its plans to emphasize SUVs, and that's big Ladies news for the city. We are proud to announce that Ford's investing $1 billion to upgrade our two Chicago plants. Of course, all of this is to support production of these great new vehicles. And there was a party at the Nissan display, setting the stage for announcing the Rock Creek version of the Pathfinder. This reintroduces the SUV to its roots as a mid-size off-road vehicle. And the Rogue Sport, a compact crossover, gets a facelift and new driver assistance technology features for the 2020 model. As the industry continues to go through change, switching from sedans to more trucks and SUVs, Chicago's importance in the automotive industry becomes even bigger. This is a market where a lot of trucks, SUVs, crossovers, and other vehicles like this will be tested out and sampled to the public. These days, trucks are a lot more than pickups, and their functions vary widely. The Ram brand proved that with the new 1500 series truck offering a multifunction tailgate. But not satisfied, Ram also showed off a series of heavy duty vehicles capable of towing as much as 35,000 pounds and useful in several commercial applications. They will be featuring driver assistance technologies that had previously been limited to passenger cars. Chevrolet recently unveiled a new version of the Silverado and the HD version will offer two powertrains. One will be a gasoline engine and as for the other? For the toughest tasks, the acclaimed 6.6 liter Duramax turbo diesel is teamed with an all new class exclusive Allison transmission. And this is the transmission that everybody wants. Toyota is putting a lot of stock in its lineup of TRD offerings. That includes a RAV4 version designed for light off-roading, a new Tacoma mid-size truck offering with upgraded payload and tow capability, and a Sequoia SUV that can take the entire family deep into the woods in comfort. The industry projects to have another year of record sales, and the hope is much of that will be in trucks, crossovers, and off-road vehicles. This is Greg Morrison.